you might think you know raccoons pretty well. I mean, trash pandas are one of the most common mammals in North America. But what are they doing when they aren't getting into your garbage? In this episode of Wild Animals, I sit down with mammal expert Mike Cove to review this crazy and surprising footage that I got of raccoons from camera traps I set in this beautiful natural area of upstate New York. So get ready, it's gonna be wild. I have been preparing my entire <laughs> career for this. Perfect, perfect, you're not gonna be disappointed. Little daytime raccoon. Yeah, I love a good daytime raccoon. Oh, there's another one. Some people are like, oh, it's out in the daytime, it's rabid. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, raccoons can be active any time of the day, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that they're rabid if they're out during the day. Their vision is most adept to be out at night. I, I just love the way they yeah, use their hands, you yeah, know? They're, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 I've seen them do it in swamps where they're feeling in the muck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've totally. never seen them doing it in the snow. So they, mm -hmm. he must have just like smelled something. Yeah. And feeling maybe he feels a worm or a mouse or whatever and would grab it. Yeah. Big raccoons. Right? These are some big dudes. Yeah, they're honkers. Probably, right? If there's two, is it male and female or? Mm, this would be the time. Uh, winter would be like when they would be breeding. So do you see two raccoons together a lot on cameras? Well, you do when you set them behind dumpsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, here's a triplet. You got three, yeah. Okay. Uh, siblings might hang out with each other for a while. I mean, these look big to be right. like a mother and, and her, her okay, cubs so got, from the previous year or something like so that. So three big raccoons here. Yeah. These aren't cubs. Uh, they, man, they form these coalitions and things like that. Coalition of, of three males? It could be, yeah, it could be three males. They'll hang out together. Yeah, we've got four dudes hanging out together, right? Probably all dudes. I think so, Because yeah. the females wouldn't hang out with each other. There's five. There is five, yeah. <laughs> yeah and they're all lined up there, I love it. One, two, three, four. Five. <laughs> five raccoons together. Yeah. Isn't that huh. crazy? Yeah, not cool. in the city, not at a dumpster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here yeah. comes the gang, here comes the posse. Oh, wow. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw these five raccoons together, Mike, yeah. I thought of you. <laughs> Thank you. Good. <laughs> so this might be a gang of males that's formed a coalition yeah. and is like working against some other gang of males on the other side or something, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I do think that a lot of the social structure is pretty fluid in raccoons, even though we think of them as solitary animals. So this is a series of pictures I call the penthouse suite. Right. Okay, so um, there you can see the camera. This is where yeah. the footage is going to come uh -huh. from. And down there, th there's a little cliff edge here, mm -hmm. and there's a, a cave, a hole in the side of the cave there. Oh, very cool. And so we could see in the snow when we set these cameras that there was some action going here. And then it's a cliff. Uh -huh. And then it, if you look here, you can just see, like, looking oh, out over the Oh, this spectacular view. Yeah, it's awesome. a penthouse suite. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, the yeah. good view. So here comes a couple of raccoons coming out of that hole to the uh -huh. right. Oh. <laughs> They're sharing the hole. Yeah. Multiple raccoons and at least one porcupine. And at least one porcupine. Using that hole, which I would not want to share a hole with a porcupine. Yeah. I don't think they'd be very good roommates. No, probably not. <laughs> there is that. That looked like mating be almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time of year, right? It's that time of year. Yep. Penthouse suite. Yeah. Bunch of raccoons up in a room and together. And another raccoon just hanging <laughs> out watching. I know. So this is. He just. Yeah, it's interesting. These coalitions. Right, so this is probably, that's probably one of the males up there that was running around with this other male. Yeah. But watch, something interesting happened to you. What? Oh, the porcupine came out? <laughs> the porcupine interrupted. Came interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hear the, the teeth. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, teeth yeah. of the porcupine. I oh, told you man. porcupines are terrible roommates. Yeah. Ten minutes later, back at <laughs> back it. Back at it. Nice. Yikes. <laughs> it's weird, they're making a lot of noise, but... It doesn't look like... It doesn't look as bad as it sounds. Yeah. Now, unless the dude comes back down. <laughs> Is that a different angle? No, it just, it just moved right next oh, to the camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look like he's doing that much damage. Yeah, I, you know, they have such thick hair and uh, uh, fur and skin and everything. And it's the middle of winter. They got full on fat reserves that I think that there's a lot less real breaking of the skin. And I do think that 
a lot of what we know about what we know about raccoons is based in urban environments. Yeah. So it's real interesting to think about what's actually going on out in the wild because there's not a lot of studies. Thanks to Mike Coe for helping me figure out what these raccoons are getting up to. Uh, getting these glimpses of rare behaviors is one of the most fun parts of running camera traps. And if you like this, be sure to check out some of my earlier videos about swamp creatures in North Carolina or amazing animals in Brazil. And get ready for new videos because coming up soon, we've got weasels and another shot at Fisher versus Porcupine.